Okay, we're <coughs> fresh starting a uh, server right now. So uh, let's install Docker. But first, uh, we need to upgrade and update. Once we update the system, let's install Docker. And from Docker, let's check if we have apt get install. We have the app docker.io. Once we have Docker installed, we can click and see all we, what we can do. We can do many other functions like Docker PS. We have no process here. So you can find many configurations for Docker and as for, uh, let's see, um, Docker remote. I'm going to stop. I'm going to desktop next DE. Um, uh, Docker farm which just automated Docker builds. Mm, it opens a uh, port 59, and that's okay. Create a user. Yes, and we access the PNC on the BNC currently. Well, um, mm, we can find many others. Uh, Docker BNC Ubuntu. BNC is for connecting uh, into the desktop interface. The Unity, I guess. There are many others. KDA, KDE. Mm. Docker room to desktop. Yes, it's a. I found one that was. Needs to provide HTML5 PNC interface to access Ubuntu desktop environment. Now we run the document and open port. PNC password. I'm not sure uh, what can we solve right now. Um, headless VNC session, Firefox and Chrome browser. This might help. Mm, so for installing this, console uh, builds the default local host. Connecting in C, alright. But why we have 16 names here? Okay. Alright, let's install this one. There are pretty easy commands that you have to couple, copy. We are gonna run this library like uh, in other languages.
languages like PEEP or NPM for Node.js or anything. So you have to follow the commands that uh, half Docker here will give you and our pre-installed configurations that are gonna save you lots of time. Change the default user and group within a container to run admin here. Yeah. Still down downloading all the files required. Pointing and from now on. The name CentOS. Ah, but this is for CentOS, so I'm gonna create a this for Ubuntu. Let's take board Docker PS. Something running here. No. So we award aborted and everything is okay. Well we we have the Ubuntu installed. So we have to do it with uh, this one here instead. Sent us to its console Ubuntu. That since it installs in, I want to keep the same line, not using Ubuntu. I'm mixing with CentOS and that stuff. But uh, the question here is, if you uh, install CentOS, it's gonna run. It's gonna install a micro install of CentOS uh, ISO and the, 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 the operating system, the base, and getting all the libraries needed to get a VNC configuration working on the same IP of your server, right? But in a different instance, like VirtualBox. So it's similar to VirtualBox in a way for managing all your operations in, in a server without mixing stuff and uh, you get misconfiguration so it's a very clean way of working it's like a three like a github but for servers and configurations uh, i think this might be this kind of technology might be used by amazon web services so uh, <coughs> it's follow up we need to add instead of centers uh, one uh, we need to What is already looking Docker PS? We can see in Docker PS we have already <coughs> Docker runner running a container. It's this image and uh, it has the open ports for GCP. So next, next, uh, let's follow up. We want to get in container. Huh? That's it. We connect to this IP, and uh, let's connect to this IP. get now this message that there is a BNC there as we can see in the documentation here in half docker for the console stuff here default <coughs> password is this one and uh, 
we can also access the no PNC server and I'm sure uh, let me just try with the same IP Um, uh, no, wait, wait. Yes, I was gonna open here with the same IP with the fifty nine one. It's gonna be open. No, no, there's a firewall. It's not open. Also, mm. well, override the NC password. This should be a root, my BNC password. Where was it? Here. Not this password. Cool. Sakulis. We have Chromium web browser. And well, we are connected in the BNC, it's cool. We are operating now Ubuntu from a uh, kind of cool, since it's a Docker configuration, it's saving lo lots of space as we can see here in Docker PS. It has four minutes running now. In Docker, we can go and see all the different commands and so we can get into different stuff and see the network and stats here in the top. Like you type top here in the operation, you can see all the operations here in your server. Now, if we uh, click instead, uh, Docker, top, we gonna top container. Yeah, we can see the uh, consume of the container. We need the container ID. Yes, Docker top. And the pressure is okay. The display running process of the container. Well, yeah, it's with stats. I just messed up with the commands instead of uh, top, it's a stat, stats. So we're using in server this memory, and there's a limit. So we're running a percentage here. But as you can <coughs> know, there's uh, different in. In Linux, if you run your uh, interface, it's gonna run a lot of uh, memory. So many people don't use this graphic user interface, but we needed to scrape and use Selenium. So now that we're in here, uh, we need to install Python 3 and pip install. Let's see if we have pip. No, we don't have pip. We have Python. We have Python three. 
Yeah, we have Python 3. Well, we need to install AppGet. Let, let's see if AppGet, yeah, we use AppGet update. Um, well, we need to call this sudo, yeah. Oh no, it's only for instance, so. Well. Okay. Yes. Error. Well. It's Python pip, I guess. Python pip. Are you root? Hmm. There's a... Uh, I need to know... We will be able to install here. Uh, this um yeah. We don't have access to so, root. 